Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today, first and foremost, we need to talk about, well, I need to give you a disclaimer, I guess it is. Um, me and the the author of this book, the author of this book and I, are friends. Uh, we know each other. We've been friends for a while now. Uh, that is Glenn Krish, I believe. That's how you pronounce your last name, Glenn. If it isn't, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But today we are talking about a book that Glenn was kind enough to send me, and that is The Painter of Piotrkow. Did I get that right? <laughs> Glenn said it's Piotrkow. Or Crow? Cow. <laughs> it's Piotrkow. So uh, this is a story set in 1939 uh, during World War II, and it deals with a, a painter who creates magical paintings and a couple kids. So I, th this is one of those books where I, I feel like I've stumbled across something special. Uh, Glenn has always been one of my favorite authors. Uh, just I've enjoyed his horror, but this is this feels like a step above everything else that he's published. Um, I would probably give his stuff anywhere between three and four stars. I'm talking all of his stuff. I, I've enjoyed the majority of it. I think my favorite from him right now, um, or ever, well, uh, this one is my new favorite, but my favorite is uh, Where Darkness Dwells. I really, really enjoyed that story, and that's the story that put me on to him. Um, again, like most of the authors I'm friends with, I was a fan of his work before I looked him up and before I started following him. Um, this, uh, let me let me pause here and talk about the the production quality of this book. First off, the cover is fantastic, but the inside, man, hang on, let me show you something. So you got that niceness. Let me get you a regular page. You have just a wonderful production quality here. The cover is by Daniel Daniel Sarah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting that right. Let me read you this synopsis of the book. It is 1939, and Leonid Teretsky is a reclusive Jewish painter living in Nazi-occupied Poland. His obsession is to capture with oils on canvas the perfect memory of his family who he lost to violence decades earlier. Eliana and her brother Felix and her younger brother Felix struggle to subsist in the ghetto. After being wrongly accused of theft, the ghetto police chase the children through the city market. When the children seek shelter in an apartment building, they are saved by Leo. With no other place to go, he helps them escape to the only place possible within one of his paintings. A fantasy novella rooted in historical detail, the painter from, sorry, the painter from, I keep on saying of, the painter from Piatakau is a story about undying love in a time of war. And I would agree with that. Uh, the story is, it's got a bit of magical realism to it, uh, fantasy, all that. It's, it's a very touching story. Again, I, I would like to stress uh, the idea that I feel like I've stumbled across something special. Uh, Glenn, if you're watching this, man, I would love to see more stuff from you along this line. And not just because I've mo I'm moving away from horror and my tastes are changing, but just because this story really meant a lot to me. Um, and it, I, I felt like it was... I just, I'm just going to flat out say it. It's a, well above the rest of your output. Um, yes, even even the newer stuff that I have read from you, like the the book that I uh, either I think I beta beta read it for you that one, um, but this one it if you guys are interested in World War II, if you are interested in magical realism, if you are interested in fantasy, any of those things, or you like the idea of a story about people being able to you know disappear inside of a painting, this is definitely for you. Um, I don't feel that my my friendship with Glenn has uh, colored this review at all. I don't feel that it's biased. Um, I've been nothing but uh, honest and... So, well, I've been supportive also, but I've been nothing but honest with Glenn um, in the past, and I feel like I'm, you know, I, I have been now. So I don't feel that there's any bias. 
Um, but I would love to hear what everybody thought about this, so I will link you guys to the book down there in the doobly-doo. Glenn, thank you so much for sending me a copy of this book for review. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!